Exactly, the cash money deal. What was it like? You had already did that no limit deal. Now it's time to take some more guys well, out that's, of New Orleans. That's that's why they came to me. That's why Cash Money uh, came to me. They wanted the no limit deal. <laughs> and the great thing was, like when they came to me in '97, Master P was on his way down. Remember, he started to go play basketball. Yeah. And his empire started to decline. Mm -hmm. So I was able to use that to cash money's advantage. Mm -hmm. So I was pitching them as the new no limit, right? Ooh. And 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 Master P just fed right into <laughs> it for me, which was great, <laughs> you know? Because when I was first saying it, it wasn't really true. Yeah. But what they did, they had put out 31 albums over a six year period. Mm -hmm. So they had incredible leverage. The downside was they hadn't gotten, they didn't have more than 25,000 units of sales on anything they put out. Mm. So when they came to me, I was able to restructure what they were doing, bring them into the Midwest. Cause remember I had, I had been working Twista and yeah. do or die. And you know, I, I had relationships all through the Midwest. That's right. We were able to extend their target market mm -hmm. from just Louisiana and Texas. That's right. So when I first started working with them, they were able to sell 75,000 units of the first thing that we put out together. Mm, and mm, that just mm. brought the labels in like shoosh. Yeah. You know, when they saw what they were able to do. This is my question now, Wendy. What is it that the labels do? Should you go from being independent to signing to a major? What is it that the labels do? I, I think it's different for each person. Like yeah. that's a really, it depends on the artist. It depends on if they like being an entrepreneur. Not mm -hmm. everybody is meant to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. And if you're an artist that owns your own label, you've got to wear many hats. Yeah. So you've got mm. to be good at business. You've got to be good at leadership. You've got to be good at organizing a team. Yeah. You've got to be good at motivating a team, yeah. motivating yourself. So you've got to take meetings as well as be in the studio. And most artists, most mm -hmm. artists can't do that. Most artists need to either be artists or businessmen. It's exactly. very few that can really walk both sides well, very few. What was the largest amount of money you saw in one of those deals that just kind of wore you out, Wendy? Probably the cash money deal it was a $30 million deal. How was that structured? They, were, they had the ability to bring six artists through a year. It was an 80-20 split through Universal. They owned the Masters, meaning Cash Money yeah. owned the Masters, which was unheard of. And they had a line of credit up to $10 million a year for whatever those six projects they cho chose to bring through was. And then there was also a clause in the contract where Universal had to teach their staff how how each different department See, that's interacted. that rap coalition right there. Yeah. That's that rap coalition yeah. kicking in in that yeah. contract. Talk to me, Wendy. Yeah. So if if they chose to send their staff to the marketing department, mm -hmm. they could intern with the marketing department and learn how to do it. Exactly. You know, the, the universal way, how to get to that next level That's faster. Right. 